they are going to have a big event tomorrow morning. And, and I don't know if you guys know about this, but uh, they're going to be hanging this picture on the walls of Congress. It had actually been removed by Congressman Duncan Hunter. And the reason he actually went and physically removed it, I mean, he got pins and pulled it out of the wall, was because he said law enforcement was complaining about it. If you look carefully, you will see a police officer. This is Ferguson, Missouri, that's portrayed. A police officer, uh, which is a, with a pig head, a boar, uh, shooting at uh, a protester uh, on the other side of the car. So when you look at that, um, Keith, what do you say? Should this picture be hanging or, or not hanging? They're going to rehang it tomorrow morning against law enforcement wishes. Well, um, this is the first time I've seen the, the, uh, the image. Uh, it's an interesting image. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, so I see the arch in the background. Um, but the city of Ferguson, uh, which is next door to St. Louis, blew up in flames because of the issue of police brutality. I think it's a legitimate concern for people in the Congressional Black Caucus to, uh, to have artistic expression of the African-American angst that was present about that issue. And I think that this art may reflect that. Now, actually, I haven't seen the art up close, so I don't really know every detail in it. So there might be something in it that might be different. But from what I can tell, if, th if this is just an expression of art, I don't think that it's ter terribly troubling to, to have that hanging if it has been hung before in the, white, in the, uh, in the Congress. It has been hung before, Ben, well, well, and then there's free speech. Yeah, it should. Yeah, it, it also should have been taken down because they're the men and women that protect us, protect these congressmen that put their lives in the line, that have been gunned down, should not be treated this way by anybody in Congress. And Congress's job is to make sure they have the back of the men and women who put their lives on the line every single day. This is also, I think, a, a very potent point that people should be looking at. This is what the Congressional Black Caucus has become. They have become antagonistic. They become extremists. Oh. They, they, they're fighting right now to put up a picture of a police officer. Also, let's not forget, based on a lie of hands up, don't shoot, which never happened in Ferguson. This is the same oh, okay. group that also implied that, that he was shot in the back of the ben, head, ben, and he okay. was not. Ben,